Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Jamin from UT Austin. My presentation today will be on MPC-based task space control, especially for under-actuated and constrained robotic systems. This presentation will cover five sections. To begin, I will share with you some background and the motivations of this research. And I will present the preliminary studies for the proposed MPC-based control. After that, I will introduce the proposed MPC-based control approach in detail. Then, I will compare the simulation results of the MPC-based approach and to those of the existing whole body control. The last section is for the conclusion and future works. Let's move to the details. The current whole body control method has many strong points. The existing methods are intuitive feedback controllers employing full body dynamics and constraint. And we can compute the approaches very fast. And we can use them for real-time application. They also can control multiple hierarchical tasks. Moreover, they are validated by real experiments using the robotic systems. However, they still have shortcomings. The method considers a single time step optimization problem, so it may generate myopic behavior and sometimes depend on the predefined and hand-tuned trajectories. As I mentioned before, we cannot guarantee the optimality over a finite time horizon. On the other hand, generic optimal control can consider finite time horizon to obtain the optimal solution. In addition, we do not need reference trajectories in many cases. However, it takes very long time to solve the optimal control problem. In particular, it is extremely hard to solve nonlinear optimal control problem for large scale systems such as humanoid robots. In this paper, we will consider the rigid body equation of underactuated robotic system and their complex constraint explicitly. Also, we aim to improve the performance of the controller by referring physical intuitions from the conventional whole body control. More specifically, I would say the proposed control reduced the tracking error over the entire time horizon, of course, compared with the of instantaneous optimization based whole body control. In addition, we focus on the computational time. We do not want to solve nonlinear program because our ultimate goal is to implement this approach on real hardware. Uh, lastly, we want to hold the task hierarchy while executing the given multiple tasks. Here are some preliminary studies uh, for the detailed proposed MPC-based approach. I want to briefly explain the optimization problem equivalent to the projection-based whole body control. When existing equality constraint, the first line, uh, the rigid body dynamics of the underactuated robots can be expressed on the nurse piece of the constraint, as you can see in the second line. We finally obtain task space dynamics by utilizing the task Jacobian and the constraint dynamics, such as the last line. Given Q, Q dot, and desired task acceleration, uh, we can formulate the least square error problem uh, to obtain the control comment tau. Here are two representative optimization problems. First, we formulate the weighted task acceleration error minimization problem. When there exists a number of optimal solutions of this problem due to some redundancy, we consecutively solve the second optimization problem to determine a unique solution. In this problem, we minimize the acceleration energy and the solution is identical to the control comment in the projection-based whole body control. One of instantaneous optimization-based approach is that we can solve this problem in a very cheap way, like a QP. This instantaneous optimization-based whole body control can perform multiple hierarchical tasks using null space projection matrix. But this method cannot guarantee the optimal control command can uh, minimize the sum of tracking errors for all tasks over the entire horizon. Therefore, we want to propose to predict more time steps to seek better solution. Let's take a closer look at the proposed approach using MPC. We express the state space model of the underactuated and constrained robotic system. The state variable is a vector consisting of joint position and velocity, and the input variable contains the torque command and constraint force. The state space model is nonlinear with respect to the state variable. We can formulate the standard optimal control problem. Uh, one special part of this optimal control problem is that we borrow some 
physical intuition of the performance index from the whole body control. We will minimize the performance index subject to the state space model, equality constraint, and inequality constraint. The inequality constraint includes joint position, velocity, torque constraint, and task hierarchy constraint. Unfortunately, this optimal control problem is nonlinear optimal control problem. Almost every part of this problem is nonlinear and even non convex, excepting the joint position velocity torque constraint. In addition, another challenge is to formulate the constraint for task hierarchy. The main idea of this paper is to formulate the constraint for the task hierarchy using tracking errors and to linearize and convexify this problem. The final goal is to convert this optimal control problem to a quadratically constrained, uh, quadratically constrained quadratic program. We call it QCQP and solve via convex optimization tool. First, we linearize the state space model. There are a lot of uh, linearization techniques. Among them, we select a simple way to linearize a system along the nominal trajectories. Given nominal trajectories of the states and input variables, we linearize the state space model along this uh, trajectory. In turn, we discretize it with the discretization time interval delta tau. Then we define two decision variables which are vertically concatenating for all state and input variables over the finite time horizon. We can obtain linear equality constraint and mass scale u and x are decision variable and other matrices and vectors are given. Please see the details expression of these matrix and vectors in the, in the paper. Secondly, we define the constraint of the task hierarchy. Given NT task, the tracking error of the high prioritized task should be less than those of the lower prioritized task. We construct this constraint by using the square of the two norm of the task tracking errors. I'm formulate nt minus 1 inequality constraint. These inequality constraints are nonlinear because of the task function is nonlinear in terms of the joint variable q. Thus, we convexify the inequality constraint functions using nominal trajectories as shown in the left side of the box. The epsilon are, epsilons are designed to prevent uh, that both track, task tracking errors become equal. By properly stacking the convexified inequality constraint, we can formulate the quadratic inequality constraint. The third part is to convexify the performance index. We want to express the performance index using the quadratic and linear terms of the decision variables. Before convexifying the performance index, we extend the expression of the running cost and terminal cost. We change the Jacobian J and vector B with the stack of task and vectors for the multiple task, and that is J check and psi. The lambda matrix and B vector can be reproduced by the stack Jacobian and psi. Then the running cost and terminal cost are expressed using quadratic and linear terms of the state and input variables, as shown in the left side box. Mass scale C1 and C2 are constant values. We can express this running cost and terminal cost with the decision variables in our optimization variables. These approximations rely on the nominal trajectories. In this paper, we generate the nominal trajectories using inverse kinematics and dynamics control approaches. Given the desired state trajectories over finite time horizon, our goal is to obtain the trajectories of the state and input variables. Uh, we can compute the nominal, nominal state trajectory using the hierarchical inverse kinematics control approach. For the uh, input trajectory, we can use one of inverse dynamic control approaches. In this paper, we choose projection-based whole body control approach presented in the preliminary section. Finally, we formulate convex optimization problem, which is quadratically constrained quadratic program. We can solve this problem using convex optimization tools. After uh, deciding the pro prediction and execution horizons, we can iteratively solve the QCQP and update our dynamics of the robot system like algorithm 1. We verify the proposed approach using numerical simulations. A unique type of robotic manipulator, Scorpio, is controlled by the proposed approach. 
Scorpio has totally 11 degree freedoms, and 7 of them are active joint. There are two parallelograms in the mechanical structure. Each parallelogram has two passive joints and geometric constraint for the closed-loop structure. We define two hierarchical tasks. The higher prioritized task is to control X and Y positions at the wrist frame, and the other task is to control Y and Z position at the elbow frame. For the numerical simulation, we use the MATLAB, Mathematica, Frost, and Dart. These are simulation results of NPC-based and WBC-based approaches. We compare with them uh, the existing WBC approaches minimizes a higher prioritized task tracking error at the wrist frame. After that, it handles the low prioritized task at the uh, elbow frame as shown in the middle plots. However, the proposed MPC-based approach simultaneously considers both tasks in one optimization problem. For this reason, MPC error is slightly bigger than WBC error for the wrist positioning task. However, the MPC error in elbow positioning task is much smaller than the WBC error. Of course, overall summation of both tasks are much smaller in case of the MPC error. As shown in the right side figure, the proposed MPC-based approach reduces the sum of the tracking errors with guaranteeing the wrist positioning error is always less than that of elbow positioning task. In addition, we formulate this optimal control problem as convex optimization problem. For sure, this convex optimization is much faster than nonlinear programming. We are currently implementing more advanced algorithms to apply this algorithm to real hardware, such as legged humanoid robot. Also, we are planning to consider uh, robotic systems with uncertainties. Thank you very much.